Hello and welcome back to another Meraki Minute. My name is Humphrey Chung and I'm going to show you how to set up alerting inside of the Meraki dashboard. So just log in to your dashboard.meraki.com page, go into your organization, and it's very simple. All you have to do is go to network wide and alerts. So it's going to be under the configure column. And you can configure alerts such as if a device goes online and can't reach dashboard, if a network utilization, if someone starts downloading a whole bunch of stuff and you get over 100 gigs in 20 minutes, that would definitely be a lot of data to be downloaded and probably want to alert on that. So on this page, you can set up who the alert goes to. This is the default list. You can have it go to all the network admins, or you can specify a certain person or certain email address just by typing it in. This page is divided into several pieces. It's going to go by device type, so firewalls, wireless, if you have a switch, you'll say switches, and then network wide. You can also set up webhook alerts if you'd like, but a couple common best practices that I like to tell my customers about is getting alerted on the VPN connection. That might be very important rogue access point. So if you manage a store and you have your access points, Meraki access points in all the stores, if someone tries to impersonate your guest wireless, you probably want to be alerted on that. This network usage, actually very good. So if someone fires up BitTorrent or tries to download your customer database all in one shot, you definitely want to know about it. So you, know, you can play around with the numbers, but I suggest something like if someone downloads 10 gigs in, let's say, 20 minutes or maybe 10 gigs in a day, get you some, yourself an alert. And then these offline alerts. So if you have a gateway, if you have wireless AP, if you have a, a switch or if you have an MX, if it can't reach dashboard for a certain number of minutes, I always say get alert. So five minutes, if you can't reach dashboard, it'll fire off an email to you. There are a couple other alerts that are interesting if someone tries to IP spoof you or if you get an IP address conflict, this one's a very good one. IP conflict is detected. And also primary uplink status changes. So if, you're, if your DSL router upstream or the DSL provider uh, bombs out, definitely get an alert. And that's actually going to come from dashboard and not the device itself. And this is an interesting one that some clients like to use. Clients connect or disconnect from the LAN. So you can actually track certain things and we're looking in the client list. And so in this particular network in Gilbert, Arizona, I've got a Roku connected and maybe I do want to get an alert whenever the Roku is unplugged or plugged in. Click save and then all your alerts will then become live. And uh, if the condition is hit, you will get a message in your email box. Once again, this has been a quick Meraki Minute about setting up alerts. It's extremely easy. Just go to Network Wide and Alerts, configure the alerts that you want, set your recipients, and click Save.